everybody, my name is Venus Tiane and you are tuning in to Sizzle in a Hot Tin Pan, the art of live holy. So thank you for joining us for today's workshop. We are going to be looking at how can you use everyday things around you to make sounds and how can you use that to be an actual character. It could be in theater things that you're doing or just kind of flexing those innovative muscles that you have. So what I'm going to ask you to do is look around you and find anything. Pick up anything you want. So I will pick up, I've got a tissue box. Now I want you to take this instrument that you've picked up now and I want you to touch it. What does it feel like? What kind of material is it made out of? Is it soft? Is it hard? smooth? Is it rough? What does its texture feel like? All right, now I want you to smell it. Does it have a smell? Hmm. Does it have different sides? Does every side smell exactly like the other sides? Now, I won't say taste it, but if you were to taste it, what do you think it would taste like? Uh, would it have kind of a sharp taste? Is it something kind of dull? Imagine what would that taste feel like with this thing that you have here in your hands. Hmm. Okay. And now that you've kind of got an idea a little bit about what this thing is, I want you to experiment with a sound that it can make. What kind of sound can this object make? Hmm, okay. So we're exploring it a little bit, seeing what kind of sound it is. Nice. Okay, so now I want you to take this sound and I want you to move around in your space. Now you could walk around in your space. If you're sitting, you can use your arms, your hands, but I want you to take the sound that you have in your instrument, now in your hands, and to use that to inspire how your body moves. So if you take the sound of your instrument, how would your body move to that sound? What would that feel like? Are they sharp movements? Are they soft movements? Is it your shoulders? How does that feel like to move like the sound of your instrument. Okay, now pause. And now I want you to explore another sound that this instrument can make. So looking at it again and saying, okay, I've got this. For me, I've got this tissue box. I was squeezing it before. making that kind of sound. And I'm gonna explore, okay, like what else can I do with this? How other, what are other ways that I can manipulate this particular object in my hand to create a sound of some kind? Hmm, all right, I'm liking that. Now, if the sound that you're creating, your second sound, is similar to your first sound, I want to challenge you to see if there's another way that you can use that object to create another sound. Really think outside the box. Like, even if it's an instrument or even if it's something that you see or you touch every day, I really want you to stretch your mind and think, how can you be looking at this object in a different way? How can you be making a different kind of sound out of it than your first inclination was? So for me, again, my first sound was this. And now my second sound is, okay, now you've got your second sound going and we're going to move around our space a bit. Now think about your first sound and your first movement. Did your body move differently with this sound than it does with the, second, with the first one? Is it your shoulders that are moving, your hands, your wrists? Like what part of your body is getting connected in your movement and your sound? 
Okay, I want to give you just a few more minute, a few more moments to explore how your body can move with this sound. All right, now pause. Now you've got one instrument, you've kind of played with the different sounds that it can make. You've got created two or more sounds with it. Now I want you to set this aside and I want you to pick up something else that you think might make an opposite kind of sound. So my sound was kind of like a wind sound or a scratching sound. So I'm gonna find something else that I think has a different kind of feel to it. Let's see, what other things can I use? Oh, look, I've got, how about this? Okay, so I picked up a plastic bag as my second sound. You might be thinking, what? That's not an instrument. But again, let's go through the same process that we did with our first one. So we're gonna to touch it, kind of look at it. What does it feel like? explore how it feels in your hands and as you're exploring you might hear that it's already beginning to make a sound and that's totally great okay now think about its properties again is it hard is it soft is it smooth is it rough what does it feel like in your hands and maybe even what does it feel like on your face on your arms does it have a different feel when it comes into contact with other parts of your body Okay, and now again, let's just check a moment and smell it. Experiencing it again with all of the senses that you have, what does it smell like? Okay, and again, thinking about, well, we're not gonna taste it, but if you were to just take a small lick, would it have a different kind of taste to it than your first instrument? Now we're really looking at this one, your second sound versus your first sound. How are they similar? How are they different? And by sound, I guess I mean instrument. How are, your, how are your instruments similar? How are they different, right? Okay. Now, let's explore some sounds of it. What kind of sound can your instrument make? Mine's making this kind of crumbly sound. Okay. All right, now take some moments to move around your space again, exploring how your body can reflect the sound of your second instrument. Okay, great. So now um, what I want you to do is do a second sound. I know that we, I'm sure that you saw that was coming, but we're gonna explore it again because again, I just want you to explore and stretch yourself further than your first thought. We always have a first thought, but I bet you can have a second one. And if I was to stretch you even more, we could say a third sound, a fourth sound, a fifth sound. We could come up with so many different ways to use these objects to create sounds, right? Okay, but we're just gonna say a second one. So explore it and what kind of second sound could it make? So this time with my instrument, I've decided to use my mouth, my breath also to kind of manipulate it. So the first time I was using my hands, changing the structure of it, changing the shape of it. And now I'm deciding, okay, I wanna check out and see what does it feel like, what does it sound like if I add my, my mouth to it? My wind, my air, does it change the sound? Does it create something interesting and cool to play with? And, you know, depending on how I use my mouth inside this bag, I can create all different kinds of sounds. <gasps> yeah, so we can play around with those kinds of things, too. All right, and so now, again, we're going to move around our space, exploring the sound that you just made, your second sound, with your second instrument. All right. So... Um, what I want to do now is kind of think about these sounds that we've created, right? So we've 
we found kind of everyday objects and we've explored them and seen that they can make some really interesting sounds. But a sound just in and of itself isn't super interesting, right? So we're going to talk about like how can we apply those to something. Um, and that's why I want to bring in the art of Foley or the idea of what Foley is. So for those of you who might not know what Foley is, it is kind of the silent character or the unseen character in everything that you have seen on TV, every movie, every television show, um, all, radio shows, like all different things, they all use Foley. So like one of the ones that I really like to use that I think is a fun example is uh, in Star Wars. Everybody knows what the saber sounds like, right? The lightsaber. Zoom! Zoom! Well, the Foley artist wanted to create a really unique sound for that specific thing. So what they did is they took a grape and they tasered it, which is like mind blowing. I don't know how they thought I'm going to take a grape and I'm going to taser it. I don't wonder if that's going to be a cool sound. So they took that sound and then they slowed it down. And that is the sound of a lightsaber, which is super cool. So it's really just taking everyday objects and creating interesting sounds to add to a show, a theater piece, a, a movie, a whatever it is that you may be doing, right? Um, so there's three different areas of Foley. The first area is, like we were just talking, the lightsaber sound. It's if you take a sound and you're connecting it directly to something that's happening. I, another example would be in horror movies, if you see a bone cracking or hear, or hear a bone cracking, um, what they're using oftentimes is frozen celery. So they'll take frozen celery and they'll snap it and that's the sound of a bone cracking, right? So it's one sound ties directly to something that is happening, okay? Now the second area is something atmospheric. So it's not a sound that's tied directly to something that you're seeing happening, but it's creating the mood, the atmosphere. So you say, it's a dark and stormy night and you're walking through the forest, right? So you're creating, you're hearing all of these sounds and it's creating a feeling within you that's starting this atmosphere. Or if it's a bright and sunny day, how would that atmosphere sound different than the dark and stormy night, right? So life only can be used to create that atmosphere. Now, the third way is kind of like a suggestive sound, right? So I'm sure you've all seen um, cartoons where somebody trips on a banana peel, right? So if somebody's trip walking along, there's a banana peel and they slip, what's the sound that that makes? Whoop, right? Well, let me ask you. When you trip on a banana peel, if you trip on a banana peel or anything else, does it make that sound? No, right? I mean, I've never had that sound happen and I used to be a very clumsy person and I would love it if I had my own soundtrack that followed me. But as we know, that's not actually the sound that it makes when you slip on a banana peel or trip, right? But it's something that creates a feeling or you can, as an audience member, see that something is happening and it's highlighting that, but it's kind of a, just a suggested sound to describe what's happening, okay? So those are our three areas. We've got something that's directly tied to something that's happening that makes sense, that's descriptive. We've got atmospheric sound and we've got a suggested sound that's tied to something. Okay, so now I want you to take your two instruments. And I've got mine here. And I want you to explore these sounds again, okay? And I want you to pick a sound from one instrument and a sound from the other instrument. And I want you to think about what kind of story could you create? Thinking again about our three areas of how live Foley or instruments could be used. What kind of story could you create? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a moment to think about it, to create something, and then we'll come back together. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I hope that you had a chance to try out your story or to create a story with the sounds, with the instruments that you have, with their sounds. Um, and I'd love to see what you got. So go ahead and display it. If you're in a group with other people there, show your sounds to them. Um, or, you know, if you have family who's there or friends who are there or whatever, I would 
love for you to take a moment and just show them what you made, what you created. This story that you made with instruments that are everyday instruments and sounds that they create. So for me, my story is going to be, um, okay, so for me, my story is I'm walking along, and then you trip and fall. <laughs> okay, so it's just a silly story, but just kind of using the sounds that we have with our everyday instruments. So I hope that gave you a little bit of a taste of what kinds of things that you can do for fo with Foley. And this is, of course, just um, a small piece of it. Check out some more. Check out what they've got. Um, look into all the different Foley houses connected with theaters or connected with movies that you like. Look at the, the end titles and look at all the Foley artists who are connected with those movies who created those sounds that you get to see. Look into it some more. It's a really fun, play a really fun thing to play around with and it's a fun art. So thank you guys for joining us on our mini workshop today, and I hope you have a good day. See you later.